Hello and welcome to the Blender Rookie YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can convert a whole bunch of individual frames that you created using Blender or any other program into a video. Basically take all those frames and turn it into a video. And I'm going to show you how to do that using Blender. All right, first thing I want to do is let you know I'm using Blender 2.79B, but the process is exactly the same as far back as 2.6 something whenever I first started using Blender. All right, first thing you want to do, set your output location, format, and dimensions. I want it to be full HD because that's the size of the individual frames that I have rendered. I know I have 1200 frames so I'm going to set that to 1200. I want it to be 24 frames output. I'm going to set the output directory. And I need to set the output format. I know I want it to be video. I'm going to use FFmpeg video. I'm going to set the encoding settings to set the container to MPEG-4 because that's pretty much a universal type that every modern computer can recognize and it's a very good uh, format in my opinion. And make sure it's set to H.264. That's a very good compression codec as far as quality versus um, the size of the output file. Change the medium, the output quality to perceptually lossless. All right, now with that set, we need to change it from 3D view to video sequence editor. Now we need to add the frames. Click on add, go to image, and then just find the folder where your in individual images or your individual frames are kept. which is right here. When in that folder, just press A to select all your images and then click Add Image Strip. Once that's done, go over here to Animation and it will start assembling frame by frame all your images into a video. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this. Alrighty, it's just about finished. Give it a couple more seconds. And there we go. Alright, now I can go to where I saved or output at the file. And it's named the same as the frame range. Um, in this case, it was frame 1 through 1200. So this is the video, the output video. I go ahead and click on that and there you go. Very simple and unlike uh, a lot of video editors like uh, PowerDirector 14 where if you add a whole bunch of frames to it it starts getting really sluggish and so forth. The way Blender does it, it doesn't matter how many frames. You could add a uh, hundred thousand frames and make a video out of that and it doesn't start getting fu acting funny like uh, a regular video editor would. But anyway, if you have any questions about how to go about doing this, let me know and I will do my best to answer your questions. Later, people.